I'm now currently uploading the vlog. This box shows up. If I had to guess. So this box showed up uh, as I'm uploading the vlog. Was priority overnighted to me from Adidas. So again, I made this video about the uh, Derupt because I saw everybody else was getting it and then I just assumed it wasn't. So now we have, but I, we don't know what this is, but I'm just, I'm, if you're a gambling man, which is pretty funny. What, what is it? I'm not gonna look. Well, maybe not. This is a human race. So it's not the D-Rep. I can't even believe it. Human race edition. The regular edition of the human race they seeded. So I was wrong. Imagine that. God, why don't they just put boost on this fucking thing? Just make a low tile version of it. Well, thanks Adidas, I appreciate it. I mean, they're gonna flame you in the comments because it doesn't have boost, but I appreciate it as always. Thanks, Pharrell. Me and Pharrell are just homies at this point. I mean, it's just what it is, dog. It's just what it is. And it's morning, I've woken up late, and the mic is off. So, I'm checking my Twitter and it's basically just Air Max Day, Air Max Day. What are you wearing for Air Max Day? Teddy, Air Max Day. Hey, it's Air Max Day, by the way. Now I'm looking up to when the fuck Air Max Day even started, which is like 2014. Uh, now I'm discussing Air Max, not knowing that the mic is off, and I'm done. Omar got new dog toys, Nerf or nothing. I flamed Nerf last time. They stepped it up with the dog department for sure. We're training for a fight. Mayweather, 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 Mayweather. Yeah, we sparring, sparring all day. Love Omar, disciplined trainer. Fighting stance, proper. Must strike, strike now. Must have patience, discipline to sit. And you must sit. If you want to continue, Omar. Such a good point. Do it. Yeah. Uh, Takashi 69 interview. Pretty amazing on Breakfast Club. I, yeah, I think he's a genius at trolling. Speaking of trolls, here comes a not so genius troll showing him his mentor, his first question How many views does Kodak Black have on his Breakfast Club interview? This is where Ernie is discussing his love of Fortnite on PS4 because I let him borrow PS4. And I'm just basically telling them how, you know, it all works. <laughs> the mic has been off all day. Ugh. So let's see how long. Maybe all day? Maybe it didn't start this morning? If it was all morning, it's totally my fault. Means I didn't look at it. Well, I hadn't looked at it because the whole time it was on your thing and I just moved it yeah. facing me. I'd never looked at the back. Ooh, voiceover vlog. <laughs> and I can't even blame her, and this is my fault today. I woke up late, fucking god. You check this is good. And I talked about my Fortnite skills. Continue straight. <laughs> and it's like exceptionally depressing today because I'm so tired. <laughs> I just don't want to deal with it. Oh. The dinosaur ridge yesterday. Uh -huh. It's the most boring yeah. thing I've yeah, they ever They name it that done. so you'll go there as a kid and not cry on the way, but once you get there, you're like, wait, what are we? are just looking at rocks right now. Yeah, they're, they're not, yeah, one of them, it's like, these, these could be animals, they could be tree branches, or they could just be driftwood. It's basically just I fucking you indents, could be high. just an indent in a rock, and you're like, okay, so, but it could have been a fucking snake. I Something don't care. sat here, it's like yeah. fucking a chair at a museum, be like, people sat here once. Yeah. It could have been a president. Yeah. yeah. God damn, my phone. I'm sorry, Lars. We haven't put the thing in. <laughs> you know, those oh, right. cell phone bumpers don't help when you don't install them. <laughs> what is happening today? The destination is on your right. Higher no, grade. No, higher grade. Weed spot. Not good. No one's no. got fucking crushed. Get over to the left here. I didn't realize we had to go left. <sighs> I might have to go right anyway, though, in a second. Even a mass email. Do I even want to know what this is? Hello? Parker, you were fucking trash. I don't understand. Every time. Every time. Every time you use the card, there's an issue. <laughs> you have to wait for all four transactions to be spelled out. Tuesday. Between 9 and 3, we'll be turning off the hot water. That's the delivery. How does this work? Do we have to become friends on the PlayStation Network, or do we? No, no, you just have to, have to add you on the... Try it for a little bit. Yeah, let's do it. 
fight it, just build your PC like you said you're going to do. This is better. Not really, it's one game that I don't like to play. Far Cry 5 comes out tonight, so I'm not even really trying to play anymore. What's Far Cry 5? Fuck out of my face! You know about Far Cry 5? You know about fucking Far Cry 5? You ain't no fucking gamer, dog. You don't know shit. Oh shit. You don't know shit. You took your shit. You don't know shit. You know Far Cry 5? You don't know about Far Cry 5, dog. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. So we together. o'clock tonight yeah which one do I need the deluxe edition or the gold edition I'm gonna play Far Cry I guess all the time well you better go get your own PC fix I guess I'm gonna have to I'm gonna do here I'm going to roll this uh, cookies and cream is is the stream grinder I guess you just ripped the whole thing off this is the part I'm trying to figure out, I don't know. Oh, there's the viewfinder, there's the camera, there's the lens. This is... So the joint here. Didn't think it was gonna be this good. But uh looks like we got ourselves a looks like we got ourselves a banger. Pretty perfect. Ooh. Little air hole there. Not sure what that's gonna do. It's opening up. Oh my. Yep. Oh, this is beautiful. Whoa. Just the packing in the bottom. Whoa. I was totally prepared to like come over here and be condescendingly nice to you about it. This is actually really fucking bad. This is like, look at, listen, listen. We're gonna light it though. We gotta light it. We gotta light it. Hold on. Oh, I took a mouthful of weed. You look like a fucking crackhead that just found this thing on the side of the road. Alright. Let me try again. It's hitting now. You get weed in your mouth every hit, but like... No, shut up. I take it home. I don't want that burn in my fucking vicinity. Come on. If you don't have it out by the time I walk over there, it's going off the balcony. Two. <laughs> Fire. They probably came up here because they spilled weed all the way downstairs from how much burning you are doing out here. So. I don't know how it happened. You see my apartment. Brandy can't even see. Yeah, hello. My mom and your mom, both special ed teachers. Oh yeah, they met on Facebook. Yeah. yeah. They're friends now. Meeting of the minds. Yeah, meeting of the moms. What outdated ideals should we share next? Yeah. <laughs> we have keys? I never thought my son was going to make it out alive, but god damn it. Now I'm catching big check with a big man. I got more friends than others. Still here, one case missing. Yeah, they've been here. People started taking individuals, now there's a whole case gone. Let's replace some other one. I just have a 3D printer now, just go take a photo of it. Oh, uh, yeah. 3D print one, a little stack out, and just put it there. Sick. Honey, I shrunk your motherfucking water in the hallway. Yeah. Well, honey, I shrunk the kids' ride at Disney. A long time ago. Yeah, a long time ago. Yeah, I remember that. Rick Moranis is a heroin addict now. No, it's not. No, I just made that up. That's fucked up, though. That's fucked, because Rick Moranis actually stopped doing fucking Hollywood to take care of his sick wife. That's why he left Hollywood. There you go. 
fucking put that in your pipe. I'll let you in. Lodo, lower downtown Denver. Wow. There's like four or five restaurants that I can get into them on a regular night. Like today we can go down there for lunch. Yeah. But on Friday and Saturday nights, I can't. They won't let me. We're going to do the on foot picture by the pool. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see you tomorrow, later. Yeah. I don't know. Oh so. well, yeah, that's right. So that works out. Yeah. And then Wednesday's the weed thing, and then Thursday maybe we'll do snowboarding. Yeah, well, I think we're going on Wednesday night. We should go out Wednesday night and get a place if we're doing it. You should tell Sager that. We should go out Wednesday night, we should get a place, so we're first chair Thursday so we can actually get powder. We should get our fucking boards waxed on Wednesday. Okay, so, uh... Yeah, the mic was off for half the day. I don't really know how this edit went. I may have... Boom, that is the box. Also, very limited, as you can tell by this sticker. But somehow, there's no hype around it. Does that mean that everything that's limited is hype? No, it does not. As I think everybody knows... By the way, happy Air Max Day. Uh, everybody knows that I don't rock the non-boost shoes sort of a thing around here. Uh, I've tried a few times. Basically, always return to this unless... Uh, unless something else happens, but as of right now, in this moment in time, boost is motherfucking life. But yeah, this is another pair of tennis shoes they've sent. They've sent a few of these now. I'm not sure if they just like have my address and send these out or if they think that I'm going to, you know, eventually just be like, actually, yeah, super fire, man. Like, I'm gonna wear these to my prom because I still, the shoe's fine. I've talked about the design aspects of it and where it has good qualities and bad. And basically it's just kind of a loafer shoe, sort of a lounge shoe, very lifestyle casual. It's knit, but it feels way more mesh-like. It doesn't have prime knit. It um, doesn't feel like prime knit. And if it is, it sort of has this uh, layer around the tongue and then sort of a double paneling on it. So it doesn't feel quite the same. Upper doesn't feel the same. It does fit the same. There's still a little room in the toe, so it's a little bit longer and narrow. Not really the best shoe for a wide foot, I would say. And then the features, you have green laces. It comes with purple laces. Tongue tab is suede. And then you have Pharrell Williams. This is like a another material that's like a nylon-ish preen, almost neoprene material. But. And then the only real like feature of the shoe I think is the insoles. The insoles like pretty cushy, you know, it's like a nice little cushy insole, but it's, um, it's, it's, it, it's not that cushy, you know, like, so, so for me, it's like a biased thing, you know, it's like with all this Air Max Day stuff and then the, the rant I went on earlier that doesn't have sound that I either did again or voiceovered, uh, it's just a comfort thing, you know, it's like I'm not concerned with being a sneakerhead and I'm not concerned with, you know, I'm not concerned with like wave riding over to each cool thing and like having an opinion about each cool thing. I'll have an opinion about it, but I don't. You know, if I'm asked, I'll give one, but I just don't, um, I'm not looking for an identity in this whole, like, sneaker world thing. Like, I don't feel the need to go back and forth. Like, I found what's comfortable. There's plenty to buy from Adidas that I like. Until something else happens, until something else is invented, and I put it on my, my feet. And when I put it on my feet, and I actually feel like, oh, this is just as comfortable. I like this, or I like this just as much then there'll be a different story. But as of right now, if it ain't got boost, I'm really not interested. And I know that that's a broken record because I keep saying it, but you'd be surprised how many people can't believe that I'm not swimming to the other ship. Yeah, I don't care. I know I could have a million views if I wanted to cop Supreme and Off-White and Nike and, and New Balance and basically every week just consume products just to consume them. Definitely do a lot more, but the vlog isn't really like that. I'm doing this stuff. I share the stuff that I like just because it's one aspect, but I'm not gonna start like, I'm not gonna start chasing after um, content. You know what I'm saying? But that's the shoe, here it is on my feet, and I'm out.
will be the third time that I've recorded this um, because today, earlier, the mic was off. On the second part of the day, the mic was turned up 10 decibels, which is why the sound is crazy. So I'm sorry, today's vlog is literally a labor of love. Almost every excuse not to do it today, but um, we're doing it anyway. So real quick, I'm gonna go through the, the quick stuff, the news or whatever I need to update people on. The holy cry, happy cry drop that was Sunday, completely sold out within minutes, way faster than I expected, even though I ordered double the stock that I normally do. Uh, I am working on a restock right now. Hopefully it'll be by this weekend, but if not, I will let you guys know. Really, really working on trying to get it restocked. The pre-order that was ordered to Hieroglyphics was on the website at the time, but I think people have forgotten because I'm getting a lot of emails that ships by April 1st. That's four days from now. So everything is on the way. Then everything from Sunday's drop is packed today. I don't think a lot of it shipped today, but most of it will ship tomorrow. Majority ship tomorrow. The rest will ship on Wednesday, just to keep you up to date there. So my rant today, or not even really a rant, but the thing I've had to record over and over is today is Air Max day. So Air Max has literally been tweeted at me probably thousands of times today. I all morning was just trolls and thoughts on Air Max and what do I think about Sean Witherspoon and all of these things. So um, I'm gonna just talk about it real quick. So first and foremost, first things first. I used to love Air Max. I used to love Air Max 90, 93, 95. Not so much 97. 180 was my favorite. The 180 got discontinued multiple times. There was nothing that compared to me in comfort. The Nike SB first was popping. I feel like that was when Air Max was really making some cool moves or a lot of quick strikes and collaborations and just cool stuff was happening. Uh, then it kind of got a little crazy. There was Nike ID and the Nike Lab and it sort of just got away, in my opinion, got away from everything. Just kind of this free for all. You didn't know what was a collab, what was a custom, what was a Nike. ID, what, you know, it was just like super confusing. There just got to be way too much. And much like the Air Max and the Ultra Boost, I like to compare them only in the sense that they're base models. They're base models that took off, um, that took off with consumers, and now there's a hierarchy. Your base, regular, you can get any day of the week, essentially, model. And you have like a collab or a special model that's built with different materials or different panelings or tools tooling, whatever. Omar, you were so thirsty. For me personally, when I just kind of like got out of it, uh, stopped buying shoes like that. My favorite Air Max went away. The other Air Max collabs were just getting so crazy. It was kind of all over the place. Um, almost impossible to follow. Yeah, just sort of, I don't know, like looking for something else. I'm not sure. Like I don't really know how to explain how all that happened. I think I, think I necessarily just I don't think it was necessarily Nike that turned me off completely, and but more like sneaker culture, where I didn't really feel like I was enjoying it the way that other people were enjoying it. And then until Boost came along, there was nothing for me to really enjoy or dive into. So that's how I feel. That wasn't just a, you know, basic repeat of what had already happened. That leads us into Sean Witherspoon, which is a great segue for the story because round two and Sean both have a very uh, pinnacle position in uh, my success, I believe. I was completely out of shoes, really was just buying whatever. I think the last Nike I bought was a Hirachi. I flew to New York in some slides, or I'm sorry, I flew to LA in some slides. Just walking around in slides, copped, boost, rest is kind of history. Got that shoe at round two LA. Yeah, and that was the same weekend that I was introduced to Sean and the store and everybody that worked there. And we have a mutual friend, so I got a little bit, uh, I guess more in depth than the average patron. But it was super cool and I picked up a vibe and it just sort of awakened me into just an, the vibe, you know? And me and Sean had great conversation. We always have great conversations. I think based off those conversations that I think Sean appreciates and curates very well a very, very classic era and feeling with Nike. in Nike where the vibe was just completely different than it is now or it feels now to me. I don't know if that's me growing up or if that's just, you know, the difference between Nike as a company in the 80s and 90s versus Nike as a company in the 2000s. But I think most people who are operating from a nostalgic standpoint 
appreciate this gap in time and I think Sean does an amazing job of curating it. I think he relates to people in that way and it just kind of creates this community which is super awesome. I cannot say enough about how much I respect the fact that the community voted Sean's shoe in to be produced. The way that Sean's handled you know, it seems to me, you know, nothing has changed the last time that I spoke to him. Nike's marketing department for actually like seemingly giving a fuck and the marketing for it has been amazing. It's like, I will never say that Nike can't market because they can. I, uh, I don't know if it was in the vlog, but I went to LA when his shoe was chosen and I had another conversation with my other friend, Sean Lindauer, talking about all the people that uh, had creative input with him and then just hold the whole idea behind it and I think that's super cool I think his swapping of the soles is cool I think the color patterns are cool are super cool bright like it fits right now with everything that's going on perfectly timed the corduroy is cool I don't necessarily want a corduroy shoe but it works with the it works with the 97 it's probably the best looking 97 that i've seen if it's still considered 97 i don't know yeah i mean there's i have nothing bad to say about the shoe or the collab and i have nothing but respect for those people who worked on this one and the genuine story that follows it really just comes down to like preference again i try to give you a little backstory as to why i don't necessarily do that anymore for me it's no different you know i have a lot of really good friends that are really nike die hard like diehards and uh you know obviously we don't have a problem it's no different than me going to a restaurant and looking at a menu and being like mm, that salad looks good the chicken looks really good too but i'm gonna go with the steak obviously sean's connecting with the people because oh, there last night there were a hundred kids outside of bait downtown denver waiting for the shoe sleeping overnight on probably the coldest night well tonight's gonna be worse actually but the coldest night that people slept outside for the shoe and i don't remember the last time a store got a hundred pairs of any shoe that's not like nike town or an adidas flagship and shout out to the manager at Bait. I stopped by there to get a headcount and order pizza, but James at Bait had already ordered it. That's real sneaker community shit right there, so shout out to Bait, and uh, if you come to Denver, that is definitely the best place to buy shoes, like hands down. Sean Witherspoon, Air Max Day. I hope you guys had a great one, enjoyed it. My day was cluster fucked as fuck. So uh, maybe that's why, maybe I'm, I'm too boosted to have a good Air Max Day. I think it was good, but you know, just frustrating. Um, anyway, back to our regularly scheduled program. Boop.
He's like, he's like eating Omar and Omar doesn't mind. <laughs>